Basic programs often contain machine code routines, but they take up quite a lot of room normally because of the way they're stored in BASIC. An interesting way to reduce the amount of space that they take up is by storing the machine code routines in REM statements. This is a much more compact form, and it also means that we can call the routines directly from the location that it's stored in memory, rather than having to copy it to a further location. And this doesn't just apply to machine code, we could also use this for storing other data, such as custom character sets. A basic program consists of a series of basic lines followed by two zero bytes to signify the end of the program. So we can see here how it's laid out. So on the first line, we have the next line link, which links to the next line in the basic program. And then we have the line number, and then we have the basic statements. So the basic statements will offer, well, the basic statements will use tokens such as 8f hex to represent the rem statement. And then once we put the statements in, at the end of the line is marked by double zero. So we can see we've got one line and that's linked to the next line and that's linked then to the end of program, which is the double zero byte. This video is going to show how to store machine code routines in the area that says basic statements. So we'll start that area off with 8F, which is the REM token, and then we'll have a space, which is 20 hex, 32 decimal, and then after that, we can put our machine code. Uh, the only thing we can't do is put a zero in that machine code because that represents the end of line marker and that would confuse the, uh, the basic. But other than that, the rem statement will mean that th that code won't be executed by basic and we can put uh, anything we want in there. A machine code routine in basic is often stored in data statements and then copied to another area of memory for execution. However, this uses up more memory than storing the routine in rem statements, as we'll see later. So the program here copies a machine code routine stored in the data statements uh, over to location 673 to 692. Uh, the machine language routine we're using cycles the screen border and background colors. It's from a previous video, hand assembling to machine code on the Commodore VIC-20. We can see the print free statement here is returning 3,460 bytes free. Uh, you may remember at the start of this video that we did a print free and that shows 3,581 bytes. So we know that this program in memory is taking up 121 bytes. And uh, in a minute, I'll show the REM program where we're storing the machine code in REM statements. And we can see the saving that we make by storing it in REM statements rather than data statements. If we turn now to storing a machine code in REM statements, we can see in this table how it's laid out. So we start at location 1001 hex, and that's because I'm using an unexpanded VIC, and that's where the start of basic memory is, uh, basic programs. If we're using a VIC with more memory, then you'll use a different location. So the first location contains a word which is the next line link. Here it's 101C. So that points to the next line in the basic program. However, we're only entering one line here. So if we look further down, that's the end of the basic program. And then the next line at 1003, where well that contains our line number. So 0A is line number 10. And then we have at location 1005, we have our REM token, which is 8F followed by a space character, and then we have the machine language routine that we want to put in. Then we finish that basic line with a zero, and then we finish the program with two zeros. So uh, so that's it. So that's exactly how one line, this line, is laid out, and uh, how the program, the basic program then is then terminated in memory. These values could be poked directly into memory from basic, or we could use a simple hex loader. However, in this example, I'm going to use the Vicmon machine language monitor because it's probably the easiest and quickest way to do it. From basic, I'll jump into Vicmon, and then the first thing I have to do is enable a virtual zero page, otherwise the monitor would overwrite uh, bytes in memory necessary for basic. And then I enter the basic rem line containing the machine code, starting at location 1001 hex, and, uh, and this is the start of basic on an expanded Vic. And once these are entered, I exit out of Vicmon and return to BASIC. We now update locations 45 and 46 to point to the end of BASIC programs, the start of variables. So this is stored in least significant byte, most significant byte order. And here it's 101A hex 4126 decimal. And we add a line to jump to the machine code contained in the REM statement. Here we can see this machine code routine being run directly from its location within the REM statements. And we can also see that the print free routine is returning 3544, which is which means that we're using 37 bytes of memory. 
the previous program, the data statements program, that used 121 bytes. So if this one's using 37 bytes, then that means we're saving 84 bytes in memory. It also means that we're not using that extra bit of memory between 673 and 692 uh, because we don't need to copy the machine code routine to another location. Well, it's a great way to save memory in BASIC. Uh, however, it isn't without its problems. The machine code routine can't contain a zero byte, as this would indicate the end of the BASIC line. And it isn't suitable for listings. And, and it's also a pain if we want to alter the machine code stored in the Roman statements. But uh, despite this, it's an interesting method, which gives us a bit of an insight into how BASIC is stored in memory. And it can definitely be useful in certain situations. You may also want to look at the associated article on the Tech Tinkering website and do have a look at some of our other videos and some of our other articles. Uh, please subscribe to the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel and share this video.